They may not be as well known as others, but they are definitely worth seeking out. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 animated cult classic films. Pay careful attention to everything you see and hear, no matter how unusual it may seem. We're taking a look at animated films that may be a bit off the beaten path, but still have a cult following. You won't see any anime on this list. Let's get to it. Number 10, The Black Cauldron. Soon the black cauldron will be mine. Its evil power will course through my veins. This 1980s Disney film is often overlooked by fans, perhaps because it came just a few years before the company's The Little Mermaid-led renaissance. Based on the Chronicles of Pridane book series, the film follows the most unlikely hero of them all, a young pig keeper, in his epic quest to defeat the evil Horned King. And I won't let the Horned King get close to you, Hen. I'll protect you. Fans of fantasy adventure will find a lot of familiar notes in this particular entry in the genre, but the film has enough striking imagery and spooky atmosphere to make it well worth checking out. Thank goodness you're... <laughs> <laughs> Plus, there are no big Disney musical numbers, if that isn't your cup of tea. Number 9. Fantastic Planet, also known as La Planète Sauvage. Si vous ne parvenez pas à discipliner cet animal, je devrais vous l'enlever. Mais père, il s'est échappé. Il lui faudrait un collier. If you're into science fiction that's full of big ideas and bigger visuals, then this might be for you. This underappreciated 1970s gem embodies a lot of what French sci-fi is great at. High concept ideas executed with a painterly flair. Regardez comme il gesticule, il a l'air terrible. Je vais l'appeler Terre. The film takes place in the far flung future, where humankind has been subjugated by a race of blue skinned giants. The animation in this one is absolutely stunning, with a unique character and style that more than makes up for the fairly simplistic movements. It's definitely on the weird side, but don't let that scare you off. Vous avez tort de considérer les hommes comme de simples animaux malfaisants. Et je crains que nous ne commettions là une erreur lourde de conséquences. Number 8. Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. This film merged forth and from the beloved and well received 90s television series. And just like the show, the movie is viewed by many as one of the definitive takes on the Caped Crusader, a beautiful operatic action spectacle that easily stands up to the live action flicks. He is he. Batman! Yeah. The story begins when a mysterious vigilante known as the Phantasm starts taking out Gotham's organized crime bosses, with the Dark Knight taking the blame. He didn't do it! It's garbage, Mr. Reeves. The Batman does not kill, period. You want him, you get him. I'll have no part of it. His search for the truth leads him back to his earliest days as a crime fighter and the woman who nearly changed his destiny forever. You're too late, Batman! There are 20 miles of tunnels under this place and they're all filled with high explosives. In five minutes, everything goes up. <laughs> Number seven, The Brave Little Toaster. On the surface, this offbeat feature sounds a bit similar to Toy Story, though that arrived in theaters several years later. You guys really have an attachment for that kid, don't you? Yes, he was our master. Well, that's real nice, and any day now he might come romping back. When a young boy moves away, some of his family's household appliances, including a toaster, lamp, and electric blanket, set out to find their master again. So how is this movie not just Toy Story for appliances? We'll tell you, it's absolutely terrifying. Watch scenes like the air conditioner going insane or the film's nightmare-inducing dream sequence, and Sid's disfigured toys will look like child's play. Why does the air conditioner sound like Jack Nicholson? We don't know, we're too busy hiding under the blankets. I was designed to stick in a wall. I like being stuck in this stupid wall. I can't help it if the kid was too short to reach my dials. Number six, Yellow Submarine. Hey, would you believe me if I told you I was being followed by a yellow submarine? Uh, uh, mm. uh, no, no, I would not. Oh yeah, it doesn't think you would. It's hard to deny how much fun the Fab Four's animated adventures are. 
a musical fantasy set to the group's iconic pop-infused rock, this psychedelic film sees the band help to return music to Pepperland, a far-off realm beset by the music-hating blue meanies. As you might expect, the movie is one psychedelic sequence after another, with less focus on plot and more of an eye towards spectacular animated set pieces set to now classic Beatles tunes. Oh, heck. A million billion meanies. Sadly, the band members don't provide their own voices for much of the film, but they do make an appearance in a brief live-action segment to close out the movie. And we brought back lots of lovely souvenirs. Here is the motor. And I've got a little love. And I've got a hole in my pocket. Number 5. Wizards The baby wizards were polarized like magnets, one attracting with a magnetic draw, the other repelling and impossible to get near. American animator Ralph Bakshi is a favorite among fans of outside-the-box animation, thanks to his love of tackling mature subject matter. This 1977 cult favorite was Bakshi's first foray into fantasy. After making a name for himself with films like Fritz the Cat, the story takes place millions of years after a nuclear war has left much of the planet in ruins, allowing magic to return. There has been a war, and this land is lost. Why can't we fight and win, Mommy? Because they have weapons and technology. We just have love. Our hero is a good wizard named Avatar, devoted to opposing his mutated brother Black Wolf's efforts to rule the world using ancient technology. The trouble with you, my brother, is that you've always been too good. Well, that may be. But I still think I look more like Ma than you do. Don't let the cartoony visuals fool you. This one is pretty dark. Number 4. Waking Life Rotoscoping is an animation technique that uses live-action footage as a starting point. It's like you come onto this planet with a crayon box. Now you may get the 8-pack, you may get the 16-pack, but it's all in what you do with the crayons, the colors, that you're given. Animators then paint and draw over the footage by hand or by computer, creating incredibly lifelike movements. It's a striking but expensive form of animation that defines Richard Linklater's 2001 film, a deep meditation on a whole host of philosophical ideas. Life is a matter of a miracle that is collected over time by moments flabbergasted to be in each other's presence. The film may use a form of animation based on live action footage, but don't make the mistake of thinking it's photorealistic. If you're looking for surrealist imagery, you've come to the right place. Just don't blame us if you have an existential crisis after watching it. Seems like everyone's sleepwalking through their waking state or wake walking through their dreams. Either way, they're not going to get much out of it. Number 3. The Secret of Nim A visual marvel from director Don Bluth, this surprisingly dark tale follows a mouse's efforts to save her home and children from being demolished. For the last time, get your children out of here before it's too late. <laughs> In her quest, she turns to a secretive group of hyper-intelligent lab rats. When worn by one with a courageous heart, the stone glows red. It becomes a blinding radiance. The film is loosely based on a kid's book by Robert C. O'Brien, adding a few more fantastical elements to the mix, but otherwise staying relatively true to the source material. Like many of Bluth's works, this one is a bit on the dark side and probably contributed to more than a few nightmares. You're in great danger. Nim is coming. Come, come, let's return to the rose bush. Nim is coming. Nim? In the morning. Nim? Yes. You will all die unless you leave the farm tonight. Lies. Please, you must believe me. Still, the stunning animation and atmosphere have kept fans coming back again and again. Number 2. The Iron Giant No, no. Migo! You stay. No following. Good. This heartwarming and heartbreaking story of a boy and his best pal, a giant alien robot, holds a special place in the hearts of fans everywhere. Set in a small town in Cold War era America, the story follows Hogarth, a nine year old boy who finds an unexpected friend in a huge robot from outer space that crash lands on Earth, losing its memory in the process. Where'd he come from? He doesn't remember. He's like a little kid. Little, yeah. <laughs> In addition to a coming-of-age drama, the film also acts as a parable of Cold War-era paranoia and distrust, 
as an overzealous government agent attempts to destroy the giant despite it clearly not being a threat. You are who you choose to be. Okay, let's be honest, who can't love the Iron Giant? Before we get to our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Oh, Hazel, this is where it comes from. I know now a terrible thing is coming. What do you mean? Look. The field. Can you truly set me free? Mommy Fortuna doesn't think so. She sees me as a clumsy fraud, a trickster. But I am Schmendrick the Magician! The last of the Red Hot Swamis. And I too am real, like you. Keep an eye on this pup. Let me know if there be any more distractions. <laughs> ladies, ladies, stop! The shelves are bare one day and you're ready to kill each other. If you just buy what you need, there will be enough for everyone. Why don't you mind your own business, huh? Yeah, who asked you anyway? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Heavy Metal Well... Aren't we fierce? Guards castrate him. Bursting out of the pages of the cult sci-fi comics anthology, this infamous 80s classic has to be seen to be believed. Look deep into me. In some worlds, I am worshipped as God. Like the stories from the comics magazine it's based on, the film is told as a series of loosely connected segments of wildly varied tone and presentation, including tales revolving around a taxi driver, a geeky teen, and a sexy stenographer. What? Is he kidding? Uh, oh yeah. Finding an audience on home video, Heavy Metal built up a following with its violence, sexuality, laughs, and all-star soundtrack featuring everyone from Devo, Stevie Nicks, and Black Sabbath. Just don't let your parents catch you watching it. From one war to another, my influence is always present. The paltry armies of the universe are but playthings to me. Put heavy metal on your to-watch list immediately. What did you guys think of our list? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And don't forget to check out this video.